H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. I need to bind two grid views. So, so what I need to do here, binding uh, employee details. Okay, for this, since we have only previously we have only one table, we can directly write ds of uh, ds. But now we have two tables, so you have to write here tables of zero. Uh, you have to bind this a uh, zero table to uh, because the first query is it will be in zero table, the second query result will be in one table. So in zero table we are assign we are assigning to uh, this one, and here you write here binding uh, address details. So here what you write here gv address dot data source uh, dot data source is equal to ds ds dot tables of one and then gv address dot data bind okay so so now here I should also make a uh, gv address dot visible equal to false because I should hide both the both the grid views when I don't have any records and uh, here I should show both the grid views gv address dot visible equal to true so this is how you normally write multiple queries so here so this will be your table 0 and uh, let me put a breakpoint and then show you so let me put a breakpoint here run this so let me stop this and run the project again So now, anyway, it's showing like this employee details are the details. So let me put here, uh, say for example, I'm putting one. Click on search. So breakpoint is hit now. So let me put F10, F10, F10. See your command now. When I move the mouse here, my command is like this. So I have two commands select star from employee, where employee equal to one, and semicolon. I have a semicolon and I have another command select star from address where employee equal to one. So now press F10, press F10, press F10. Now I am getting an error. So what is that error? Invalid column name EMP ID. So we don't have that column in address, is it? Okay, in address we have employee ID. So that's the reason why I got an error saying like invalid column name employee ID. So what I need to do, I need to correct the code. So I need to write here employee ID. So let me go back here and check EMPLOYE ID. EMPLOYE ID. So now I corrected this. Let me run this again. So let me put here one. Search. So now press F10, F10, F10. So now we we are filling data set so we fill this data set using data fill so now we didn't get any error so so if you see the command command is something like we have two queries select star from employee where employee equal to one semicolon select star from address so if you see in the data set so in the data set if you see here you will have first table this is uh, this is for employee table and when I click here I have table one so I have two tables here in the data set first one is table zero which is uh, which is having this one employee details and when I select table 1 I will see address details so I have two tables here in the grid view I mean in the data set the first table I am assigning to first grid view and the second table I am assigning to second grid view so let me press F10 so it came to else press F10 F10 and I am assigning it to first one and I am assigning it to second one press F5 see now I am seeing employee details and I am seeing address details so this is how you have to uh, get the data data from the database but remember we should not write commands like this 
we should not write commands like this uh, like this we have to use stored procedures writing commands like this is always uh, bad practice uh, but still for learning I mean tomorrow I mean in the next class we'll see how we can call stored procedures so we should not write like this because this code is prone to SQL injection so I'll tell you what is SQL injection uh, in five, five minutes before that is it clear now all of you how much percentage is clear now Uh, I'm sure if you you have to practice otherwise it's easy actually it's it's bit easy all we are doing is first we are giving server name uh, first we are giving server name and then we are giving uh, we are actually giving command name so I have two commands here and uh, and then I have added two grid views in if condition I am showing the uh, I mean if if we have records in the table I'm actually uh, showing the grid views here grid view visible true and I'm sh uh, showing visible false for the label and if I have uh, if I don't have the records I'm hiding the grid views so I'm not showing grid views here but I'm showing the label message and showing employee details not found it's very simple so all you need to do is you have to practice a lot so let me ping this for you in the messenger so just have it uh, have this code because uploading the recordings might take time so copy this and then paste it here so keep this code with you try to uh, try to uh, replicate it so assignment for today is you have to you have to uh, uh, create a page like this you have to create a page like this so now I will tell you what is the problem of what is the what is the problem with having select command okay so any question here I see uh, um, Babita has unmuted. Any question, Babita? Yeah, it's like, uh, um, can you go to, go to the code play? Yeah. And the uh, program. Yeah. Um, just only uh, if condition, if the start table start count is better than zero. So, uh, what we are doing it there, like from whatever, what count is that? Okay. So, now, I have two queries here. So I have one query. Uh, so how many tables this is returning now? This this adapter. So if I put a breakpoint here, for example, let me put a breakpoint here and run this. So so let me search for here. So let me search for here twenty. Uh, take for example two. Click on search. Now press F10, F10. So this since I have two queries this data adapter will fill the data set with two tables so if you see here I have first I don't have employee 2 and this table I have here so anyway this is not having data integrity without employee you will not have address also so so here I'm just checking for the first table so this count is 2 because I have two tables but here this count is 0 because I don't have that employee details tables of 0 is your tables of 0 is your employee table and for employee ID2, how many records we have? Rows dot counts will tell you how many rows you have in this table. So DS of tables of zero dot rows dot count equal to zero. That means you don't have any. If you don't have any rows in the employee table, employee table display this. Display this a uh, message. And if your rows dot count, that means you have some rows in employee table, then don't display the message employee details not found. Display go to this else condition. So that is the purpose I have added this. Okay, maybe you don't need to do this actually. So this is not required. Directly can you can put like this. DS dot table sub zero dot rows dot count. Okay. Mm, fairly you understood, right? Yeah, I understood. I was confusing with that. I mean but that one is for two tables. The count was for the two tables. Yeah. See here, uh, uh, we have we have two queries here. Select star from employee. So now what I'm doing here is I'm checking if uh, the tables of zero tables of zero will indicate uh, that first table table of employee table of employee table of employee dot rows dot count. This will tell you how many rows you have in that result. So if you don't have any rows, uh, you have you should show this message employee details not found. 
and in case if you have some rows you have to display for example now count value is 0 so press F5 so you are not showing any details employee details not found okay so yeah yeah so any other questions please be uh, feel free to ask here because this is very important now I will tell you um, yeah. if I have yeah if I have like we are using two grid views yeah if we are suppose like we are going to use one grid view and another one in the list box or list one yeah uh, if we use it yeah um, so the if we are not using the store box right and like just the same statement and we will use the same thing in the um, in the we will bind it with the list box yeah right yeah yeah okay. you can even okay. the same way how you are binding in uh, binding for a grid view you bind it for a list box also drop down list try to research on that and uh, try to do some Google and try to research if you can fi if you can do it for a uh, bind it for a list box if you are not able to do it in the next class I will definitely explain that okay so all of you okay. uh, keep this in mind uh, you can actually do the same way uh, you have to f but only one thing is instead of star for a uh, for a list box uh, you will put here some column name for example uh, for example in the screen here Okay, let me run this. So here you might need a drop down list. Say for example without entering this you might need you have a drop down list and select particular employee ID. So there you, you have to write the same way but uh, instead of this uh, star you will write here select EMP ID. Select employee ID from employee. You don't have where condition and then whatever values you get you have to bind it to that list view bind it to that drop down list okay so just spend some time just research on that how to populate a drop down list and try to understand in case if you are not able to uh, do it I'll be explaining in the next class how to uh, sometime back Ravi has asked one question so he asked a question saying like I have two drop down list on selecting first drop down list I have to populate the second drop down list so I'll, I'll explain that but before that I want you guys now that you know how to connect to database before that you try to research on that spend some time today tomorrow uh, and uh, try to research on that I will be explaining that in the next class okay if you cannot do that okay now now what I uh, thought of sharing is now I will explain what is SQL injection because nowadays in interviews they are asking what is SQL injection now uh, let me show that wiki page for you So what people uh, nowadays uh, uh, a lot of uh, SQL injection is uh, once uh, I'm not sure whether this is a confirmed news or not once uh, an employee got terminated from a company who is working uh, creating on web applications so uh, because of that he was uh, thinking like he has to do some uh, something for that company uh, because even though he did a lot of good work he got terminated so so what he did was see now uh, I'm copying this now let me uh, search here so just a second where okay let me go this way okay so let me paste it here I, I'm just uh, thinking how I can show it so now I'm putting here uh, employee ID 1 or okay or 1 equal to 1 let me click on search let me put a breakpoint here and let me click on search so press F10 so what is my command now uh, what is my command now my command now is select star from employee where employee equal to 1 or 1 is equal to 1 so let me see what will be the result of this
okay good now uh, see here I'm just I added some code and if I'm pressing F5 I wanted to see only one employee ID but I'm seeing complete database complete table see here I'm seeing complete records here so what he what they what that person did was he tried to hijack the table so in that case see now even the blunder here is uh, they can actually delete the table also see now uh, let me explain this to you so this might be confusing so here uh, or yeah uh, drop table yeah so here they will add a semicolon so let's take that there is another table called I uh, have a student table okay let me I want to drop the student table so what I can do here is uh, I can I can copy this and here I will put semicolon like this drop table student so like this th he modified the query so he added one and semicolon drop table students so now if I click on search see how the command looks like press F10 now how the command looks like uh, where is my command here my command looks like this select star from employee where employee equal to one semicolon drop table student okay so uh, so if you see here select star from student what do we have here so I have a table with four rows so what I'll do here press F10 F10 I might get an exception uh, because it does not exist or you do not have permission so it's already deleted or what press F5 so I think the table is already deleted let me check now see uh, let me s take some other table so let me take subjects so whether we have the table or not select star from subjects okay so now what I'm going to do is uh, I will change that command see now so this is how actually uh, that guy did uh, deleted some customer table so the company also closed ultimately see here uh, I am trying to do here a one and semicolon I am putting here drop table I am putting here what is the table subjects now when I click on search see how your command looks like my command looks like this press F10 so my command looks like this select star from employee where employee equal one drop table subjects so he included this is called SQL injection you're trying to manipulate your query in such a way that you do some harm to the database now when I execute this uh, when when the application execute this it only thinks that it is having a star from employee but it is having drop table so so now if I press F10 F10 and press F5 see now it is already uh, let's see here it would have dropped the table subjects see it has dropped the table subjects so this is how even though you are getting an error here so you you are getting it what is actually happening here all of you uh, the point here is the point here is you are trying to do some operations uh, uh, you are trying to hijack the database system you are trying to uh, uh, manipulate your database tables using entering by entering some commands in the text box this is called SQL injection is it if we put insert will it work too yeah you can man um, you can do whatever you want uh, uh, but you should have the table and you should you can do that operations but but that is the reason why we, we can prevent it when you by using stored procedures so I will tell how to prevent it uh, but uh, did you understand the concept what is SQL injection All yeah I mean um, we can manipulate the database by giving the, um, yes. uh, the statement yes yes if you see here they they have added a lot of real-time incidents so this is this is practically happened lot of 
a huge loss also happened companies also got closed see here examples um, so in January computer criminals broke into Rhode Island government website and allegedly stole credit cards so credit card details also they store how they write you know uh, uh, they have a text box uh, enter your credit card number to see the details so what those guys uh, written here so let me show you how they steal the details so let me stop this and let me run this so that bank had a text box where uh, it is it is showing like enter your uh, credit card number to see the details so only if that credit card matching then only it should show the details but what they did here they entered here uh, 1 or 1 equal to 1 like this they wrote so when I click on search let me remove this breakpoint let me stop this remove the breakpoint and then run this so imagine I don't have I don't know any uh, valid employee say for example I'm giving 50 50 is not a valid employee or 1 equal to 1 so see here when I click on search I'm seeing all the table like this they are able to see all the credit card details they just added some credit card number or 1 equal to 1 so they are able to see all the credit card details and, and they stole the details and and with the credit card details you can do some fraud also yeah we can do validation we can put here validation like only number should be accepted so we can do the validation but uh, but they have not implemented the validation at that time so later on even uh, even all the banks and all they started implementing uh, a um, lot of security in uh, for these values and all so are you getting it so basically uh, uh, I mean hackers so hackers will have uh, uh, will, ha will try different possibilities to, to hack the details because now you might be getting uh, Gmail enter some email ID and enter 50 or 1 equal to 1 so it won't work out for you Gmail is very smart enough okay so now let me go to this and show you some real time see here 2 lakhs plus names credit card numbers and expiration dates in the site customer database so SQL injection attack uh, so a lot of a lot of banks a uh, lot of government agencies have been uh, have been uh, uh, attacked by this SQL injection okay so see now till year even even in 2013 it was happening even in March 2014 so even now people are attacking using SQL injection okay so in interview they might ask you what is SQL injection uh, how can we prevent it you can tell like uh, by entering some uh, some potential scripts into the text box values uh, ha hackers might try to get uh, additional values from the database or do some um, delete operations uh, uh, using entering some SQL commands in the text box so that is called SQL injection so you can prevent it using stored procedures or or let's see how we can prevent it in the next class did you guys understood the concept of SQL injection now okay so that's all for today so we have to prevent it so I got a question so how would they know so so the only way uh, that they have hacked so let me tell you how would they know that they have hacked good point so first thing is uh, the data they can actually see what are the commands that are executed in their uh, uh, in the in the database so they, they can see every command that is getting executed okay or for example see now just to stop uh, the class what I'll do now is uh, I'll execute this sorry I'll, I'll run this what I'll do here is equal to 50 I'll put a semicolon drop table employee okay so now what I'm doing I'll click on search I got an error okay let me press F5 okay now what they will do they will go to database and uh, they want to check okay why I'm getting this error so select start from employee I don't have my employee the main table employee table is deleted now so definitely they will come to know that something has happened wrong so they will come to understand like they got hacked is it making sense Bavik? okay 
so like that uh, you should be very careful because imagine uh, yeah we can check logs or imagine uh, uh, you you are a bank so you're running a bank so you delete a delete star from customers that's all bank is also closed the, I mean if you have proper backups uh, well and good but if you don't have proper backups and the table is gone uh, that's all okay so so that is about SQL injection so people try to attack the systems uh, steal the information or do some harm for your database okay yeah okay so that's all for today thank you very much yeah any other question uh, if anybody is asking for you know that uh, show me your work you know what you have worked on like you are working on ace.net but if you have done any web pages or so what kind of work I should show to them you cannot show them actually because you are working you should tell like you're working for a client